Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about the 2017 French horror film The Mansion. It is set on New Year's Eve as a large group of friends gather together to celebrate the ringing in of the new year in a beautiful mansion. And it seems like it's kind of their last hurrah. Everyone's kind of going their separate ways to pursue their careers or their dreams of becoming rappers or getting married. And they all want to get together, party it up, and uh, of course bad things happen. So it seems like things kick off, unfortunately, with uh, the dispatch of someone's beloved dog, which, can we stop doing that? Because that is just, that hurts my soul. But things kind of just progress horribly from there, and it's a, you know... They're kind of trapped in the mansion, we find out. Their car and van is gone. Um, there are bear traps kind of hidden around the, you know, the, the lawn part so they can't really run out to the gate. And people just kind of start disappearing. And um, it, it's a really fun ride. I'm just going to go into my likes here. I don't want to spoil too much. But uh, Drozik, one of the characters, I think I'm saying his name right, is hilarious. He's so funny. He's this, like, big bearded stoner guy. And he is the perfect comic relief in some of the most tense scenes. Like, there's a scene where he's hiding with someone. And there's obviously someone else walking around the room. And they're hiding under something. And you just see him trying to light his joint. And she's like, no, like, stop doing that. And he just, and just keeps lighting it. And obviously they're going to see, like, they're going to hear it. They're going to smell the smoke. They're going to know you're in there. Especially if the people that are hunting them have been in the house long enough. They know that this dude just emanates that smell all the time. So come on, man. Like, wh what are you thinking? You know, um, the dynamics between people are very strange. Uh, I think that the the dispatch of some of them is so fitting and so weird, especially that there's one in a barn. Not going to give it away, but like, ouch. Um, there's uh, some weird love triangles going on. Really weird love triangles going on. Um, also, just couplings that are weird. Just watch the movie. I, I thought that uh, the gore is actually surprisingly really good. There's not like a whole, whole lot of it, but it just seemed like the perfect timing when something horrific would happen. Something hilarious would literally happen at the same time. So it was such an engaging movie to watch. I loved it. I know a lot of people aren't fans of subtitled movies, but I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I wish I would have known that this was a New Year's movie closer to New Year's because I would have reviewed it. You know, I love seasonal movies and this happens to be one and I'm definitely going to watch it next year to celebrate. But just, ah, oh. and like the, the, everything just looked so nice. They did a really good job. I thought the actors they chose were really good. They were obviously over the top, but not to the point where I was irritated. It's just, it's a silly movie, and that's, like, my kind of movie, if it's gory and silly. What did I dislike about this movie? Like I said, the, the animal stuff bothers me, but it's not going to make me not watch this movie because it's obviously not real, you know, but it's still, you know. Um, some of the grosser parts got to me, there's, I don't even, like, I'm fine with horrible gory things, but if someone's, like, vomiting on themselves or snotting on themselves, that's what gets me. I don't do phlegm. I don't do saliva. It makes me just kind of have to look away, and then if it's a subtitled movie, I have to look at the bottom, so I'm just like, oh, oh gosh. So, that was nasty. I felt like, you know, the, the pacing in it a little bit was a bit excessive when they're kind of like Scooby-Doo ganging around the house and they've split up, like get to it a little bit quicker just because I don't have a long attention span and that's a personal problem. But all in all, this is a great movie. This was hilarious. This was nasty. 
the fact that they didn't know what taxidermy was because they found something in the mansion and she's like taxidermy what is, i'm like how do you not know what taxidermy is like that also says a lot about me i guess but i enjoy taxidermy as long as you know it's not like uh if it's an ethically sourced taxidermy i'm happy about it off topic i would give this movie probably like a 3.5 out of 5. I really, really liked it. I really just, the characters are great in it. Some of them are just terrible, but they're also, because they're so bad, they're good. One of those things, like looking at an ugly dog, it's so ugly, it's cute. But as I said, I did find this on Netflix. Have you seen this movie? Have you seen the trailer? I haven't even watched the trailer yet, so check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have seen the movie, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I thought it was great. Um, if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave me a comment with your thoughts down below. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you took French in high school and halfway through the movie you were convincing yourself that you could actually understand what they were saying, but nay, you were lying to yourself and reading subtitles, and you just know how to say, I am a cheese omelet from watching Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful new year so far, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!